All right, so I got Windows and figured it out for you guys. If you're having trouble with the um, YTDLP situation and the next release of the extension, I'm actually gonna make it easier so none of this is gonna even be required. I'm gonna package this all for you so it's just way simpler, but for now, here's a little workaround. So on Windows, what you're gonna do is search for the CMD, or yeah, search for CMD and look for this thing called command prompt. That is your terminal. It comes already installed with Windows 11. Now, what you wanna do is make sure that you have this program called winget. So you can check if you have it by just typing winget space hyphen V like that. And if you see anything pop up, you have it. So that means you're ready to go. So next, you're gonna run this command. And it might take a little while, it might not. But it's gonna ask you a question in a little bit. So just wait for the prompt or not. I, it didn't ask me. But if it does ask you, sometimes it asks you for a prompt, like, do you agree to our terms of services? If it does, you just have to type the letter Y and press enter, okay? If you get the question this, just press type letter Y and press enter. Now, when, you're, when you get to this part that says path, environment, variable, modified, restart your shell, blah, 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 just X out of it. And now you can open it again and you should be ready to go. So you're gonna run this command just to test that everything is gonna be good. So you're gonna paste that in like that, make sure it's all on one line, press enter and see what happens. What it should do is it should download this test video here to your desktop like this. And when things stop happening here, you know that it's finished. So you submitted your... And you can see that it is downloaded with audio. So that is the fix for the YTDLP um, problems or situations. Or, um, and it's also the fix for what is the command that you run on Windows because it's a little bit different on the school uh, extension, the syntax is a little bit different and that has to do with uh, the way that Windows like just does things right with their system paths. So hopefully that's helpful. Once again, you're not going to have to do this part. You're not even going to have to do this part with the next release of the extension, but I wanted to get you guys something that's working while you wait.